Sunday, everyone. Um, today, we're going to do a easy three ingredient fudge. Um, I decided to do this because it's Christmas, coming up to Christmas, and this is something that you can do with your grandchildren or your children while they're out um, for the Christmas holidays, or they can even make them themselves. Because all you're going to need is three ingredients, a mixing bowl, a microwave-proof mixing bowl, a spatula or a spoon, and your microwave. So let's do this. I have done this um, quite a number of times. So all you do is do a 12 bag of semi-sweet chocolate. You're gonna do a 14 ounce can of condensed milk. And here's my um, semi-sweet chocolate. And I'm just gonna pour in my whole can of condensed milk. Like I said, this is really easy. It's quick. And I figured everybody is getting ready for the Christmas holidays. And they didn't wanna look at me for a long period of time. So I'm gonna do something um, real quick. Like I said, three minutes fudge. So you mix all of this together in your bowl. Um, you're gonna put it in the microwave and you're gonna do it um, for one minute in the microwave. And this is that fudge um, that um, you get like at the chocolate shops that you pay eight dollars or nine dollars a pound um it's that soft chocolate it's not the consistent of the chocolate that you actually cook um on the stove but it is delicious so we're gonna stick this in my microwave for one minute to melt everything down and so like i said that's all it takes and then while that is um, in my microwave, you're gonna get a, this is, I think it's a nine by nine um, baking dish. Um, and what I did, I took and sprayed cooking oil here underneath and I put parchment paper on top. That's just so it'll come out really easy. Um, and then you're gonna just put it on your parchment paper. So like I said, this is a really quick, easy recipe that you can let your kids do by themselves so you can do it with them for a treat for Christmas. Or you can give this for Christmas gifts or take it to like a potluck at your job or whatever. Like I say, um, it's not too many Christmas parties going on, but this is a nice, quick, easy little recipe. And also, while we're waiting for my um, chocolate to melt down, I wanna do a shout out to Ralph and Marla. I met them um, at Hobby Lobby, um, I guess last weekend. They are local YouTubers and I will share their information in the description box below. And it also will be in a card at the top of my video. And I'm doing my hand like this because I'm not sure if it's gonna be on the right side or left side, but their information and their card will be at the top of this video and also in the description box below. And go by and show them some love. They got some really nice recipes um, they also visit a lot of different restaurants. So just give them, just, 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 just take a look at what they got. They're doing a really, really good job. Okay, so we're gonna get this out here. And we're gonna just mix this up. And like I said, if um, it don't break down in one minute, you can put it back in your microwave for about 30 seconds um, to melt it down. Like I said, start off with one minute because it depends on um, how your microwave cooks. You know, some microwaves cook faster than others. So that's all it takes. And then you're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla. Um, you can add, go ahead and add that in after um, you see if your um, little chips has um, melted. And now um, you can use um, dark chocolate, but I would not use milk chocolate because milk chocolate is not going to set up enough for you to be able to cut it. So I would not do the milk chocolate, but you could do the dark chocolate if you had dark chocolate. But make sure you do the semi-sweet and the condensed milk. And like I said, you just mixed it up. Like I say, it's really, really easy. You know, I told y'all I like really easy recipes. I don't like a whole bunch of, have to use a whole bunch of ingredients. Okay? 
And then the next thing you're gonna do, just pour in your grease pie um, casserole pan on your parchment paper. Like I say, it doesn't take much. And you have to work kind of fast so it don't start setting up on you. So make sure you get you a good spatula. I love this spatula with this because it comes out really, really good. It's, you see how it's all coming out of my mixing bowl? So make sure you have a real good spatula. Like I said, you could probably use a spoon, but see, you don't waste any of your chocolate if you use a spatula. And you just kind of spread it out evenly. Like I said, this is really easy. And it's good. And it's really inexpensive to make. This is this probably cost me about two dollars and fifty cents, two dollars seventy five cents to make this. Um, but of course, you know I got all store brands. But if you bought brand, you still probably wouldn't spend no more than five dollars to make this. And you got fudge that they charge eight to nine dollars um, a pound for in one of those fancy shops. And I mean, it's just as good. Like I say, it's a good soft fudge. Three ingredients, three ingredients in three minutes. What a combination. Didn't take long at all. All right, and then you just, you can leave it out to sit, but um, I always put mine in the refrigerator. That helps it sit better. So you just set it in the refrigerator. So I'll go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. Alrighty. And then the next thing we do, you know how I do it. I already have one prepared here. And so and this is how it looks once I took it out of the refrigerator. I already have it out of my pan. And we're gonna cut it so I can show you how it looks and the consistency of it. Alrighty. So we're gonna start off like this. And now this has only been in my refrigerator about an hour. So it hadn't been in there very, very long. So it almost needs to sit up just a little bit more. Like I say, it's only been in there about an hour. Usually if I'm taking it somewhere, I'll make it the night before. And then I will um, put it in the um, my little serving tray to take it somewhere. But like I said, today, you know, I know it's Christmas and I'm doing everything in a hurry. But I wanted to share some with you, so I thought, okay, let's do this three minutes first so I can still get up a video for you guys today. All right, and so this is the way it looks. All right, and now we're going to taste it because you know how I always like to taste my food and break bread with you guys. All right, so let me set my grace. Father God in heaven, let's thank you for this food that I'm about to receive for the Nourish My Body in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. So here we go. Let's taste this bud. Mm, mm, mm. It's good. All it needs is to sit in the refrigerator just a little longer to get a little colder. Because like I said, it's only been in an hour. So it hadn't truly, truly set like it should. But I just want to share that recipe with y'all. All right, let me take a, a, my next little bite. And that's it. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you this week. And like I say, it doesn't take a, it doesn't cost a dime to be kind. And you know, like I said, go check out Ralph and Marla. The information will be at the top of the screen in the, the car. And the, um... Other information will be in the description box below. I shouldn't try to eat this fudge. It's so good and sweet. Now my tongue is sticking to the roof of my mouth. But you guys, like I say, 
I love you and I'll see you next week and bye.